The mining industry pumped over $33 billion into the Namibian economy in 2019, posting $200 million in dividends to government. 77% of the distributable cash remained within the local borders. However, real growth of the mining contribution to the GDP declined, posting a contraction of 11%, due to a drop in diamond and uranium production. Fixed investment by the mining sector also continued on its downward trend as there were no new projects developed since 2019. The year 2019 also saw the mining industry employing over 9,000 permanent employees, of which 283 were expatriates. Some deals were also struck in the mining industry in 2019, with Rio Tinto concluding the sale of its shareholding in the Rosing Uranium Mine to China National Nuclear Power Corporation. A milestone was also recorded when Afritin dispatched its first concentrate from the Uistin Mine, which has been closed for 30 years. The year 2020 brought a misery in the industry, as a result of COVID-19. At the beginning of the pandemic, mineral commodity prices dropped especially for base metals. The demand for diamond also fell, and as this continued for the remainder of the year, it affected government's coffers in revenue and export earnings. However, gold prices have risen above 2,000 US dollars, the highest since 1975, which may compensate some of the revenue losses to government and export earnings. Namib lead zinc mine was placed on care maintenance as social distancing became impossible in the confined underground environment. 129 employees also lost their jobs. The industry supply chain was also disrupted by the pandemic and impact stock levels of inputs, consumables, and equipment spares. It was also unable to import specialized skills in cases of breakdowns of complicated equipment as there were no international flights, while such experts were also locked down in their respective countries. These tough, challenging times, however, brought opportunities in the building of specialized skills locally, and plans are underway to make use of technology to repair broken equipment with the help of experts remotely. Mining operations at Chudi Mine were also suspended in February as the oxide ore body got depleted. This will result in 66 direct and 367 contract job losses. The processing operations are, however, expected to continue until the end of the year. Mining operations also came to an end at Scorpion Zinc due to the depletion of all body. The mine was forced to close down early due to the safety concerns from multiple slopes failures. Scorpion Zinc mine also saw 1,500 job losses, which are not linked to COVID-19. On the investment side, Deb Marine Namibia is busy constructing AMV3 vessel worth of $7 billion, while B2 Gold and Navahab mines are busy developing underground operations. The future of on-land diamond mining in Namibia also looks bleak, with offshore mining remains promising as per the explorations conducted. To this end, Deb Marine Namibia has invested in the exploration vessel SS Nuyoma that has thus far carried out promising sampling. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Ventuk.